Oregon has 400 miles of rugged coastline. The waters are cold and clean. Prime habitat for one of the Pacific Northwest's finest crustaceans. Oregon Dungeness Crab. Commercially harvested in the region since the late 1800s, Dungeness range from Central California to the Gulf of Alaska. In November, the harbors in the small fishing communities that dot the Oregon coast come to life as crabbers gear up for the season opener. Although the season officially begins on December 1st and continues through mid-August, preparation gets underway in the early fall. Crabs that have molted and grown new shells in the late summer are now full and in their prime. Crewmen work to ready the large steel traps called pots, each weighing over 100 pounds. The gear is then loaded aboard and tied down as everyone waits for the gun to go off and the season to start. As they leave the security of the dock behind, crewmen and skipper alike wonder what's in store hoping for calm seas and pots bulging with crab. Oregon's crab fleet, capped at 425 vessels by recent limited entry legislation, is a mix of big and small, old and new. From the wooden trollers built during the heyday of the salmon fishery, to the modern steel vessels capable of fishing in any weather. Once on the grounds, the process of setting the gear begins. Pots are baited and tossed overboard in 30 to 480 feet of water as the skipper closely watches his depth finder. Pots are set in a line following the contours of the ocean floor. The location of each pot is marked by a buoy which is branded and painted to identify its owner. The heavy pots settle on the sandy bottom, where the scent of fresh bait attracts the crabs. They enter the pot through two one-way tunnels. Smaller females and juvenile males can exit through escape rings built into each trap, ensuring healthy stocks for future generations. The pots are allowed to soak for one to three or more days, depending on weather and fishing conditions. After a rapid ride to the surface, courtesy of a hydraulic power block, the pot is emptied, rebated, and sent back over the side. Crewmen sort and measure the crabs. Females and shorts return to the ocean. Keepers into a tank filled with seawater. Only mature male crabs, measuring at least six and a quarter inches across the back, can be harvested. Smaller boats usually return to port each evening. Larger vessels fish round the clock for as many days as it takes to fill the hold, coming in only to unload their catch and take on food, bait, and fuel before heading back out to sea to repeat the same cycle. Sleep family life and recreation are put on hold when crab season is in full swing. At the dock, totes of live crab are weighed, sorted, and prepared for processing. Some crab will be separated and given the special handling required for air shipping live to markets around the country. Others are rushed to cookers that produce the bright orange whole cooked Dungeness for which Oregon and the West Coast is famous. Additional processing will create popular market forms such as sections, snap and eats, and picked meat. Modern freezing technology is employed to produce high quality frozen product that is held in cold storage to meet the needs of food service and retail sectors throughout the year. Oregon Dungeness is enjoying nationwide distribution 
thanks to a growing appreciation of its high quality and incomparable value. With Oregon Dungeness showing up on menus and in seafood cases coast to coast, seafood lovers everywhere are discovering what has traditionally been the West Coast's best kept secret. Preparation is simple, especially if you eat Dungeness Oregon Coast style. We like our crabs served whole with nothing more than melted butter to enhance the delicate flavor of the sweet white meat. Cracking them is fun and surprisingly easy once you get the hang of it. Just don't forget your bib. Oregon Dungeness crab also lends itself to white tablecloth cuisine and can be found on the menu in some of the country's finest restaurants. As a featured ingredient in an elegant entree, its use is only limited by the chef's imagination. Simple or extravagant, either way is sure to please. So there you have it, clean waters, healthy stocks, and an industry committed to bringing you one of the finest seafoods available, Oregon Dungeness Crab. From sea to plate.